up, everyone? I'm Rich Mays Lopez. I'm Brendan Dunn, news editor at Soul Collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor at Complex Sneakers. And this is Full Size Run Show with two very, very special guests today. We'll start here first. Dion Plant from Concepts. And... DJ Betts, tattoo artist, graphic designer, the man. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're watching this show, you should probably be very well versed with who these guys are anyway. If not, we're going to do a little, little deep dive today, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Yeah, Feel good about that? Yes, sir. How happy are you guys to be back from that holiday break that we had? Mm. You, you're, not, you're not that thrilled to be back for our adoring audience? I'm, I'm happy to how, see you. How was your vegan okay. Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh, did you, you did that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What's I, that I, like? I did, I did not eat any meat uh, over the holidays. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all the sneaker release madness that we saw over the past couple days. Um, you already the, sighed. Yeah. I, Give us was, a second. Was it, rough was it rough? <laughs> so, I mean, what were the big releases this weekend? The Adidas EZ350 Boost v Beluga V2. Yep. There was the Black Cause 4. Yeah, which Cyber coincidentally Monday. you guys have a good story about because yeah. we both Ralph won. Ralph a winner. We How both, we both Ralph a winner. Yeah. Yeah. Who did you yeah. beg? Who so the, you the system is fixed. If these guys I, won the <laughs> system, <laughs> it's like, I haven't won much in my life. That's going to be it. And I mean, I even reached out. I rarely like to call in favors. So you were begging. I did reach. I'm not going to front. You're going to say did, reach out and you I didn't did, beg? I did reach oh, out. I don't know. Beg, I don't know. Out. So I no, 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 no. Not so who did you reach out to? Oh, okay. Yeah. So both of you guys won cause for us off I the did. raffle. The shit is totally obviously randomly. fixed. <laughs> yeah. Totally randomly. Totally randomly. Did you guys buy any sneakers this weekend? Uh, I don't think so. It's well, hard to remember, though. I'm still broke from the jacket I bought at Complex. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought the Yeezys just because I won them on the confirmed app, and I figured I, know, I, I, I might as well go. Yeah. Although, it really was a reflection of how many more pairs they made this yeah. time, because I won previously, and I went at the end of the day, and I didn't have to wait for very long, but I went at the end of the day on Saturday at the Adidas flagship store over here on Fifth Avenue, which they have a lot of registers there. They can service a number of people, but it was still like a Pack. line. I had to wait what around. Was, what it's was good, the, though, that somebody can get yeah, it easy this time also, around. People have been waiting for so long. Also good saying? that the guy there said that he loved the show and recognized Shout out to that me, guy. So oh, yeah. Oh, oh, so yeah, more she was fixed, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's over here complaining about it not being fixed. What's the most fuck shit that you saw go down with concepts over the most, <laughs> either this one or in the past? The human race one, that was a, a little scuffle. For not like a, like a, like a, like a guy fight, but it was like, yeah. you know, okay. kid fight. There's not much you could do about it. People are sitting around for a long period of time, and, you know, I, I don't really know what happens in that environment. I don't know if testosterone flares up, or, mm. you know, you get so close to the doors being open, excitement takes over. But in all fairness to the sneaker consumer, that shit happens on Black Friday at Walmart. Everywhere. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, you've seen them busting the door to get, like, a no-branded TV, yeah. so you can only imagine. Which they only have ten like, units do, of. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think you guys have any sort of like any? The blame falls on the retailer when that shit goes down. I think everybody plays a part. It's just it's very difficult to appease everybody, especially when you're talking about a limited amount of shoes. Like for for, to, for instance, like a Yeezy raffle will get thousands of kids signing up. I didn't even know there's that many kids in Boston that even are into sneakers. And then BJ Betts I know when and he'll say, hey, make sure yeah. I win. Because <laughs> there's shoes I can't sell 12 pair of. So where are these thousands of kids when you need them? But so, so I mean, just to put it in perspective, and then you're talking about the pair count that you get. Um, and, and it's not like we're like, hey, if you win, post it. Because that's weird too, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And you, you have a big release coming up, right? We want to talk about the Christmas SB Dunks yes. that you brought yeah. in today here. Hopefully it won't be no Black Friday chaos with that. <laughs> Tell us about <laughs> the shoe. Um, yes, yeah, so this is our third iteration of um, a collaboration we started a few years ago to kind of get in on the holiday fun without being locked in to give our take on it. And we decided to go like an ugly sweater route. We thought the parties and the and the festivities were getting bigger and bigger over the years. Is there um, a so concepts uh, holiday party? And uh, what does there, that look there like? is, yeah. Is we, it lit? Yeah, it's, it, yeah <laughs> we keep that offline. <laughs> <laughs> so how did this concept even start? So he, I, said, it, he said concept. I did, it was a double concept. concept. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, we get royalties off that, so say it as much <laughs> as you want. <laughs> no, nah, um, it, it was just, you know, we, we always approach everything to try to have a fresh take and spin on it. Uh, we don't want to be lazy and just do a red and green shoe, and we knew that uh, that's happened already in the past, so we wanted to kind of catch people by storm, and I think we did. And, and the and the joke was that you know we were in on it. It wasn't like we meant it to be serious. In this one, as I try to make it as ugly as humanly possible. I think that's you, you know it, bro. it's yeah. grotesque. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's one time when kids are like, "These are trash." You're like, "Right, okay, awesome." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we wanted that to happen. So when you make something as garish, is there a worry <laughs> that it won't sell out? You know oh, what absolutely. I mean? <laughs> I mean, like I said, I wouldn't wear them. So I mean, it's just like you know. <laughs> Absolutely, but I think 
people understand it's all in fun. And, and the one thing you want to do when you approach a sneaker collaboration is keep in mind that kids already have a million black and white shoes. They already, so if you can offer them something that stands out regardless of, of what um, you know, the storyline or kind of the color is, then I think you're on to something. Speaking of ugly, uh, you know, sneaker collaborations, you know, when we first talked about this show, me and you, you know, offline, yes. it's, you had seen the episode where we shit on your concepts, Nike Monarch, right? right? <laughs> Did we? First sneaker that we're gonna get into is a kind of collab that would, may have been a joke um, <laughs> oh, no. five years ago. The Concepts Air Monarch 4. Ah, um, ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what it was. I saw, I saw that. That's, That's what got me on okay. the show. Okay. Okay. That's, That's what got, got him here. <laughs> and just to, to set the record straight, is that yeah. shoe dropping? What's going on with that? They're made. They're ready to go. Um, it's very, very limited number of pairs. Um, I want to say they're sitting in uh, Oregon somewhere, kind of tucked away. We don't know. But I, I mean, the whole reason Do you want I, them to release? You know, I, I mean, I don't know if I share the enthusiasm of some people with the whole Monarch, what is it, Monarch gang or something? Uh, team Monarch. Team, team, team Monarch, Monarch thing. Um, I get it. it I, I know it's not for everybody. And, and oftentimes, uh, as the creative director for the brand, we're asked to do things that we don't necessarily always want to do. I know people will sit here on a soapbox and be like, I only do shit. I, that, that's not always the case. Um, that was the shoe that you know, I was encouraged to do by, by the guy that pays my check. So, I mean, we did it. And I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It's just not something I could pull off. I, I, but I mean, I get it though. It's, I think one of the number one selling shoes oh, in is, the yeah. history of the brand, oh, yeah. if oh, not yeah. D1. So BJ, obviously uh, Dion's roster of, of hits is, is long, but you are a tattoo artist and an artist yourself. I am. Uh, probably done a lot of things behind the scenes. You came through with something ridiculous on your feet today. So I need to know, have you ever, behind the scenes that you want to talk about, had your hand in any collaborations or I, any? I have, yeah, man. I did, um, so the first shoe I worked on um, was the Puma RS100. I worked on the shoe with uh, Adam Leventon, Air Rev, mm -hmm. from yeah. back in the Nike Shout Talk days. Shout out to Air Rev. OG. Shout yeah. out to Air Rev, OG. I did a Mother's Day, a Father's Day, and a, a, I did four shoes in this pack. Released, killed it, ended up doing a... Um, Easter Puma Clyde, that was like a Barney's exclusive. Dope. All pastel colors. It was a dope shoe. Um, Clyde was my favorite, so Rev and I worked on that. Um, and I did a lot of work with Puma that was behind the scenes, which I'm completely cool with. Um, you know, I don't need to have my name on everything, man. I'm cool with just designing. As long as the check clears, right, buddy? As long as the check clears. Yeah, I'm cool. But now, you know, <laughs> and that, and to, <laughs> to get back just to the, the, the thing is about tattooing for me now, it's like the, the design process is what still gets me hyped about the, the whole tattoo thing is sitting down with somebody making them uh, a design that they can not only wear forever but if I'm designing something for a logo or for a brand or something like that I do a lot of that stuff as well but I did I work with Crooked Tongues on some New Balance drops they Shout did. Shout out and rest in peace. Absolutely man yeah yeah and then um, a lot of those guys went on to, from Crooked Tongues went on to do big things yep. you know like Chris Law. Claw is yes. um you know the, the man at, at Adidas now, and um, my boy Charlie was Sofa Rock. Charlie's at New Balance. Matt Sleep Truce is at uh, is at Converse. A lot of these guys wanted to do big things because of of, of Crooked man. And I mean, I'm I'm here essentially because of that in a, in a roundabout way. But where but where does this ring? You know, being on the show right now in the oh, yeah, it's this is high up. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, yeah, this man. is a no nonsense show here. They like. Honesty. Don't bullshit us. Yeah. Not, yeah Would no you doubt. say like top 300 moments in your life? 300? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not, because he's done, he's got tattooed by Jade. I mean, that's. Uh, okay, but that's top 300. <laughs> this could be two. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is up there. This is up there. Jade was, was no joke, but yeah, this is up there. We're going to move on to the yeah. next section now. Uh, the best and the worst things we saw on the and internet. Feel free to chime in. Yeah, Please. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Or you can even say your own, you know, yeah. whatever, yeah. whatever you're fucking with, not fucking with. Yes. Whatever. So first off, Rich. Yes. You have something? So I was doing some research yesterday for our release roundup show, trying to figure out, because I can't do math, when the 25th anniversary of the Air Force One is. I couldn't count from 82 backwards. Uh, but either way, when 2007. I went... 2007. Yeah. So when I, but right, but when I went on to eBay, I saw this listing for a pair of beat-ass Air Force One LeBrons that dropped during the 25th anniversary of the Air Force One. And the starting price for the listing was one hundred and four thousand dollars. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Which one was that? So the I Air remember. Force, yeah. So and the twenty fifth Air Force. Remember they did that players pack. It was like Kobe on it, Amari Kobe. Stoudemire, yeah. LeBron. Yeah. So the, some dude is trying to sell his beat ass LeBron oh. Air Force ones 
for a hundred and four thousand dollars on Good eBay. And I thought it was the best thing I ever saw because it's this week because it's like, bro, like get your money. If yeah. you can convince some fool to spend a hundred and four thousand dollars, yo, it has thirty five watchers. Even if somebody hit it for like, even if somebody hit him off to the side like with a with an offer of, with a, offer. of a stack or a whatever. Stack. That's still. <laughs> oh stack. my God! Yeah, bro. Cause Yo, those, you know can we? I mean? Can you keep me updated if he gets a hit on that know. or a big? Because I'm the interested. Thing is, there's like 15 inquiries, people asking questions, and there's like 35 watchers. Wow. I'm not so gonna happen. Get your money. I'm not gonna say I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it I want to, but maybe. I want to talk about my best thing I saw was uh, Arison Hugh from Akronim calling out Nike on Twitter. Um, so he works on all the ACG stuff. He's done a couple official, more official collaborations with Nike too uh, via Akronim. But basically, he was kind of upset at the product images that Nike put out for his stuff. This is one of them. That was the Nike.com photo. Kind of like uh, pulled over their face like this. He was he was kind of going at them on Twitter. He said, "I have no idea what happened with the ACG styling this time around either." He added later, he's like, I, I, "You can spend months and do the best design in the world, but then someone takes a photo like this." And he put LOL in all caps. And then this so. photo got taken off, right? Yes, it's uh, not on the site anymore. No, the photo is still on Nike's server, but all the product yeah, pages the product page, are yeah. like having errors on them, so I don't know whether or not Nike. We actually had a freak out something. the other day in the office that Nike blocked us. Oh, yeah, there was going a the back period end. where no one could, uh, no one in the no office could, could access the Nike Supreme, website. Supreme has blocked our IP. How don't does that mean anything, though? <laughs> hey, Ticketmaster, I don't know. Supreme didn't fuck Take with it, us. Ticketmaster, who are you pissing off? <laughs> A lot of fucking happen. people. Also, shout out to Harrison. We've, we've talked about this a bunch of times. Listen, that acronym lifestyle that yeah, Harrison lives him, is a real we thing, We saw bro. him at ComplexCon. Like, I feel like you can't really understand acronym until you, you see Harrison in person. Yes. And he just looks like the most futuristic, yes. like, ninja like, type. Like, just came out to Jetsons. Yes. And he did it all with a fucking cowboy hat yes. on, and it all made sense. And I was like, I need those shoes. Yes. As soon as I saw him, I was like, I was this dude is from the future. Ready Tokyo. to spend $1,500 on a pair of pants. Westworld. Yeah. Westworld. Yeah, yeah for sure. I like it. What do you think is better, though? The off White Prestos or the acronyms? Oh, that's a tough call. I think the uh, I think the acronym one is. I, I mean, I, yeah, that's tough. I wouldn't I wouldn't know what to pick on that. I like them both equally. Well, Virgil's not watching, so you're not. No, I mean, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, or he might be. We don't know yet. Future. For, the thing is, I'm not a Presto Virgil guy, Apple. and I like both the iterations of it. So I think they both did a really good job. Because you won't see me in Presto as regular. We mm. we've spoken about this at length of the show, so I need your your guys' opinion. The consensus. Overall, sneaker of the year mm -hmm. was by the on the complex conversation panel and also Footwear News was the Air Jordan One Off White. I personally I, think I it's disagree. a Presto. Yeah. But what are you guys thoughts? I disagree. You just in general or sneaker of the year? I'm an Air, I'm an Air Jordan One junkie though. You can mm -hmm. go back to the so beginning still, of the time. You still disagree? That one doesn't I, do I, it for No, you. I I don't think you could have made that shoe better no matter what you did. But I wanted to it's, give everybody a fair fight. I didn't. I couldn't really think at the time of what shoes have came out over the year that. You know, because you see so many now. Yeah, yeah. There's such an influx of pairs, but but still, at this stuck out mentally. I think, yeah, this yeah. is this. How about, is how about you, it, It's tough for me because I think some of the shoes that came out this year were were had a little bit more of a nostalgic thing for me. Like for for me, one of the best shoes this year was a Skepta '97, mm -hmm. and because of a few reasons. Shout out to Gary, yeah. Number one, yeah, of rest course. in peace to one of my best friends ever walked this earth, Gary, that worked on that, and. The story behind that shoe is dope. Yes. You know, like the, it, it's just all around, it's a great, it was a great thing. I'm not a big fan, to be quite honest, about the, the Jordan 1, uh, the off-white one. I, it, just, it just didn't do it for me, and I thought it was lightweight, a slap to the OG Jordan 1. Mm. That's just me. Because like, it looked like a Chicago? A hundred percent. You know what I mean? But that's just, just my opinion. Well, my tell us about your worst thing you saw in the past so week. So the thing that like, you know, I've been ranting about uh, a lot lately. I'll one of the things. One of the things. <laughs> Just one of the things. The one thing that really pissed me off, and you might have some insider yeah. info because you guys were very close to this. Yes. In, in actual proximity. I don't know how it was officially presented, but it was kind of said that this Air Jordan 1 was s led to believe to be an exclusive mm -hmm. to the Union booth at Complex Con. It was a little vague. It was a little vague. It was, like, it was, it was an exclusive. It was exclusive to Union booth at Complex Con, though. Yes. That's for sure. Yes. Okay. And now they're releasing on a not a, not a Foot Locker level, mm. but a pretty a pretty wide level. I mean, there was a list of stores, energy accounts. Globally, mm. they're you know they're releasing, they're dropping in China, all all of that. Mm. And my my biggest beef with it was is that 
as you Other saw, than it just being an Air Jordan. No, 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 no. Right this is more. This is more of. This is more of. As we were talking about earlier, you know, with with the fight and whatnot, where it's kind of like you saw how crazy mm -hmm. it was, right? Like Chris had said that someone broke the wall on his booth. Correct. Like, I, like it looked like there was like fights breaking out, and yeah. it's all because you know, as as it's been well documented, Jordan Brand not doing so hot nowadays. How's Jordan doing for you guys? Right now, I mean, to in all fairness, they're on fire. I mean, they got yeah. they got the apes and stuff they're talking about. They got this. They got um, the eleven even if it's not your scene that's still a big like volume pusher mm -hmm. and the cost so i mean there's there's a lot happening but it, it, to answer your question because i probably shouldn't say this but oftentimes when we do a shoe the, the you have to really look into the wording because what will happen is we put so much time effort and money into launching something in and to rich's point the wording is there it it definitely does it is right when you look at it from the outside like i could say this is exclusive to us. Like we're dropping on 12.2, but we're also launching it online 12.7. So if there's kids that ask, I try to be upfront and honest as I can because you don't want someone booking a flight. Um, but at the same time, you don't feed too much into it because the reality is you want a kid to like your shoe. So it shouldn't matter is what I'm saying. You, get, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I get that it seems unfair, but there, there are circumstances where it's, it's right there and it's, it's open to interpretation and some people just take it the wrong way. I just, I just, so unless you ask and someone lies to you, then that's a different story. Because the same thing was, I'm not even putting D.L.'s yeah. spot here, the, the, Kennedy spot. Kennedy, joint, 100%. the Kennedy joint was in the email was, was going to be sold at ComplexCon mm -hmm. with no mention of it dropping 100%. afterwards. And Dion it did drop. And it, and it did drop <laughs> afterwards. But my, which is fine. But my biggest point is oh, I don't think that yeah. we should have gotten to a point as a culture where we're upset to have another chance to cop a limited shit. I'm like, not, why should I be upset about I'm not, what you did? We, we actually caught hell for not putting it out. So what we did was we capped, if you saw our booth at two hours in, we capped it both days and we didn't sell a single pair. We had pairs to sell, but if I didn't sell them in Boston and New York, like kids would go crazy. Gotcha. But then it was like, we were dealing with, you know, riots and fights. So we just put it online. It was open. A lot of kids said easy cop. It was this, it was that. Like. That should be a good thing, but in this day and era, it's it's not. It's like Which is the if, that's if the you can't part to me. get it, that's and you can go and bitch and like go and complain and put a hundred negative comments. Mm. That's supposed to be the good that's shit. That's the hot shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what like what you can't appease everybody. Like I said, so it's tough. I mean, my my whole thing is at some point you hope it reverts back to just getting what you like. When when the shit happens, like I know the kids are gonna act crazy. They're gonna act ridiculous. But when the brands facilitating that behavior and they feel like they're capitalizing off of it like we saw like with the staple shit where it's like they're trying to sell that you know oh there's a riot happening over the shoes and they're using that as a marketing thing they're almost like using these kids as kind of like toys and minions to send out like mass like company emails like look we had a successful release this weekend like 10 kids punch each other out you know like, yeah when we did when we had the fight the other day we it didn't go over so well but but the one thing i you know because Adidas hit us and was like, you know, Jordan hit us, like, what's going on? And, but the thing about it is we, we also can't afford to, um, this is a sidebar conversation, but oh. we can't afford to have a security guy there 24-7. That costs us as a retailer money. Like, I, I remember when the first Yeezy came out with Nike, we had a kid show up two weeks early. And I was like, bro, I'll, I will get you a pair if you go home. Like, do not stay out here and start this shit right now. Because yeah. the lobster, we had lines that were six, six days long. Mm -hmm. That's like, you're, you're creating like a... It's like uh, the Vans warp Tour at that point. You know, kids are like sh not showering and smoking weed and defacing and graffitiing all the local businesses. Like, you definitely don't want that. Yeah. And you're right, though. Some, some brands do kind of, they, they want that kind of reaction. But for us, we just want to sell through. You also saw that, too. And that's like the other thing. I know you, we're, we're all hyped about, you know, the black cause for but that shoe was kind of billed originally as like a friends and family right like when it right. when it first when you saw people when you know sneak with the year panel several people were wearing it they're like oh i all got the friends and family shoe but we all kind of knew that that shoe i'm was, friends and family now you know right. what i'm saying bro you were in on the jig all along man yeah 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 every week we look at what's <laughs> dropping mm -hmm. and we decide to either cop something or drop something so you guys also chime in mm -hmm. My cop of the week is a no-brainer. It's the sneaker right here. It's the Stash Bird yes. on which I already copped. Absolutely. Um, Stash, awesome. to me, is a legend in the game. 
The Spiridon is an amazing sneaker. Would you Can I finish, me? please? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear this joke, though, so let's Yeah, get we'll that. get to uh, And this, to me, just to me, is a, just a beautiful sneaker. It's like the like the perfect sneaker. BJ, you, have, you have the rest of them? Would you, you have the, I have the mm. Air Force One. My man has BJ, a joke. BJ, BJ, would you, would you, uh, would you uh, tattoo a stash throw up on Rich's lower back? No, 100%. I would, take, I would, no, but I, I would have stash. Like with that. Him. This, this, this midsole should be speckled, though. Let's all agree on that. Also, I'm trying to work That'd with Stash nice. to do a Stash X. Stash? Oh, yeah. mustache. <laughs> so. I was working with Stash to do a Stash pocket. Oh. So that might happen. Oh, okay. Um, we can all... But, bro, it. this shoe, we didn't even talk about this for, like, sneakers of the year. Spiridon is top five for it's me. It's crazy the Stash ever. comeback, though, because I remember I met him. I actually met him at Concepts when yep. you guys did that event a few years ago. He's definitely friends with family. And but at that point, he was doing the Reebok stuff, and it felt like I interviewed him. It felt like Stash was in a very different place mm -hmm. in his career. He wasn't, you know, up where, you know, where he was originally and up where this shoe has brought him to so see this come out. It's kind of like it's good to see him doing big things again. You always got to keep in mind it's, it's not as easy to do some of the shoes that aren't really layups and home runs. Mm -hmm. So, like... When you, you know, I, I give it up to anybody on the design tip that's had like a challenging thing. Like I know all the guys that are like the big hitters, they've had some questionable stuff, but you know, you gotta put yourself out there and try everything. Until then, like you deal with what you got and I think Stash did a great job of persevering like yes, yeah, throughout his career and staying hot. He definitely you know. did his thing on this one. And this is no exception, like great show. My pick of the week, the acronym Lunar Force One. When these first came out a couple years ago, I wasn't Did Harrison pay for this like, <laughs> show? <laughs> What's Harrison pay? <laughs> I think I think it's kind of like after seeing Arielson in person, this stuff just made so much more sense, and I'm 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 into this one. I'll I'll be trying to pick up a pair this weekend. I don't know how successful I'll be. I'll be uh, doing some international traveling, so I won't have There's access to uh, so nice. oh yeah, usual wow. channels. It's holiday season. Yeah. Wealthy, Damn. what are you copping this week? My cop of the week already copped or already oh, okay. already, my, already my possession. A uh, good friend of mine, Thomas Lindy at Hand and Shop, uh, sent me their upcoming. Adidas uh, consortium collab. Very wow. flexible. Very yeah, flexible. Very flexible. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. That was good. On the Adidas New York, yoga, I, like, right? I like the guys at Hannon. Uh, Hannon. You, know, you got Adidas. the hat too, right? Yeah. I'm here rapping. But you were or were not paid for that? Because you're actually paid. wearing the gear. I just said Can I we buy the shoes. Sponsored? I said I was no. going to buy the shoes. You got the oh, you got to put on for your friends, though, right? No, I love it. Absolutely. They're no, they're shot. good guys. Like guys in Scotland, like just doing their thing. Like I mean, yeah, send me a hat. I'll wear it. We also drop a sneaker every week, which is a sneaker that no under no circumstances are we gonna spend our hard on cash on. And this one yes. was super easy to me, and it's gonna hit home a little bit to you, Dion. Oh, but yeah, it's my the guy. Kyrie. This is my new guy. The Ky <laughs> your new guy. It's the Kyrie hybrid. Listen, I'm a, I'm a Kyrie Irving fan. I think, he's, I think he's an unbelievable player, but this to me is a completely unnecessary and Are the Celtics gonna win the East? I think so, for sure. Oh, okay. I wanna, I wanna mention every time I mean, that we talk bomb. about this shoe that they should've called it the Kyrid. How you do you not call shoe the Kyber? That, that was a layup. See Maybe what I did time. there too, though. Layup, Kyber. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this just this is well just played. not a good. This is just not a good sneaker. And this is my drop too, as well. The the what the Kyrie. Neither what, you guys are feeling What one. if you play ball? Is this a win? For I'm like not that? hooping in that. Nah, nah. that's in that, in that shoe in general, or just that color. That color specifically, because that's what that's the one that's dropping this week. So yeah, we yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, the thing yeah. dropping this week. But I'm not. But why would you cop this and not a Kyrie? No, I, I, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, 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 for sure. My drop of the week, uh, the Jess Don Air Force One. I like this idea on paper, but seeing them in person, they're just not that impressive. Like I think it's clever. Don C obviously knows a lot when it comes to sneakers and sneaker design, but this just looks like a chunky. Execution wasn't there for you. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. I, I think it's just one of those things that sounds good, but when you actually see it, it's... How do you feel about this? You're, you're, you're just on guy, though, right? I, I, I think he's great. Is this a three? I one, didn't two, see three. it in person, because yeah, you one, know one. I walked away with Complex Con with not a single shoe. Rich said the same thing, but that was a lie. I didn't get any. That was a lie. No, because he had all hold the up, Survey <laughs> shows. Hold up, hold up, please did buy sneakers at Complex Con. Hold up. I just want to make this clear. First of all, there's one rule on this team, and that's everybody eats. So if I walked out with a pair... Everyone else walked out with a pair too, yes or no, Brendan? That's true, but I never said Thank otherwise. You. I never Thank said you. otherwise. We want to get on to the last section we have here, <laughs> which is the, the mailbag. Well, to you've been getting into uh, it with some of the commenters on, yeah. on Instagram, Instagram, right? Instagram, but not, not just like Instagram's our, fine. Yeah, but they're not yeah. trolls. These are like people who are established within the sneaker community. That doesn't make like, them not a control. No, but I'm not saying you're establishing the community. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you you've been <laughs> going back and forth on Instagram with a couple customizers. Um, the first one was Kikasso. No, no, no. The first the first one was uh, was Mosh. Let's talk about Kikasso so, first. So hold, hold let's on, talk, sorry. What's the name? Kikasso. Kikasso. He does. Oh, I, a, I, 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 he I, I, does. Uh, he does a lot of the NFL cleats. Okay. Okay. I think he did the, the those awful uh, Supreme uh, Odell Beckham Jr. I don't know. 
Maybe the case. I don't, I don't Anyways, know. Anyways, you saw his, you saw his shoes. Yeah, so he um he did uh he did a custom uh this weekend and he uh it was past weekend and it was made to look like an Arizona green tea can. Mm -hmm. And you, what did you say about this? And you I said, I said, if I, and I said, if I'm not on the show this Wednesday, it's because I've off myself after seeing this. <laughs> he responded. Riddance. He has over 500,000 Instagram followers, and he responded, and he said, uh, "Good riddance." And then he but, also said, he added in, "You can go fuck yourself if your buddy Mosh would have done that. His dick would have been sucked. Take that for a fact." But to Wealthy's credit, I don't necessarily agree with just going on this guy's Instagram and telling him that his designs made you want to kill yourself. And then he but also, no, no, it was on, this was on the, this was on the soul, yeah, this was on the soul collector page, and then he went on the picture of us and he said, I must ask you a question. And I go, actually, that's Brendan. And he goes, I just wanted to talk shit to you. So Wait, you know, why didn't he do it? Instagram about sneakers? Is what? That, is, that, is that what you did over your Thanksgiving <laughs> weekend? I know, that's the part that I'm No, he I'm came at me. He By the way, we would bro. love to have Kikasso on the show to discuss this me, in, in real life to make sure we all keep that same energy. Uh, to be fair, he did also make fun of Masha's design yeah. on Instagram. He had a SpongeBob cleat, I think, that you yeah. were not feeling. Um, yeah, you said these. that these made you want to oh. suicide yourself as well. <laughs> so check it out. How many lives? These are, these are, BJ, these are, BJ as, as an artist, right? Yeah. Like someone who's done sneaker collaborations, right? Yes. What do you think of painting shoes to look this absurd? Check it out. So what? <laughs> there's a fine line between what if the person asked for that specifically? They had commissioned. To they had right. to have. That's what I'm saying. So it's wait. Uh, would you tattoo that on somebody? If someone asked for a really whack tattoo, you'd be like, yo, you need to rethink this? I, well, 100%. I would try my best and talk them out of it. Now it's just a, a moral or ethic decision. Do you do it and do it well and take the money? Or you just say, no, thank you. I don't want to be associated with that. Because now he's going to be associated with that cleat, right? I was, yeah. I, was, I was doing it. So what do you do? You know, do you do it, do a great job and kill it? Because that's what... Who's, who was the player Mosh. that won? Oh, I don't, know who, I don't know who the player was. Oh, okay. Yeah, so does Moz do it and just and get paid? You yeah, know? but can what, I say what's your, what's your thoughts on these though? Like the Arizona green tea and like SpongeBob. Like, is the art he wants okay? You to be as like, would you wear it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, would, I wouldn't wear it. Funny story, Welty. So about these SpongeBob cleats. Little did you know that these were actually inspired by something that Mosh did for you. We have a pair of SpongeBob <gasps> sneakers. So oh, wow. way back, way back when we we put out a tweet oh, from, the full size nice? run, <laughs> from the full size run Twitter oh, account, wow. and we said if this gets 50 retweets. We will have this wealthy wear fake, wow, awesome. I didn't even know fake this. SpongeBob Jordans on the show. We oh. couldn't actually get the fake SpongeBob Jordans, so we had a custom pair commissioned just for you. So while you were hating on Mosh, he had already made a <laughs> pair for you. Mosh made you these. I love Mosh. Oh no! Oh, no. SpongeBob <laughs> Dub Zeros. <laughs> and you had the fucking nerve. To go on well, his Mosh, Instagram. Man. Mosh, I love you, bro. This happened. This, 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 this is actually this, from Mosh. This was already this done Mosh. while you were hating on him. Get so out, we need you to put these on. We need you to put these on. Because we did promise you our promised. followers you promised. that, you, that if we got 50 retweets. Come on, man. How many V cheats did he get? Above 50. That's what I'm asking. All right. Hey, 51 cops, right? Yeah. I was number 51. You need to put these on. Thank you to Mosh for making this happen. While he's trying to mock, can I say one thing? Please. In the spirit of what's happening now, though, I can honestly tell you, I don't think there's such thing as selling out. It doesn't exist anymore. I personally have morals, and there's things I won't do. You do? I do. I pass up shit all the time. <laughs> but in the, in the grand scheme of what this is considered as a culture, people would do anything for, not these dudes. I'm not, I love Mosh, and, and I, I don't know kicks, but I'm just saying in general. People do anything at all times because there's such a short memory span now. It comes and goes. Nobody holds it over your head. Yeah. Right. People are going to remember this forever. <laughs> well, <laughs> please, they please, this. please put the shoes on while we address um, our, our viewer questions. Yeah, Funk Doc on Twitter, uh, a frequent viewer, I think, he's asking, after the Off-White Wave and recent Complex Con launches, is it fair to say that Nike is winning the hype wars again? I think one thing that we should do is ask Dion that question mm -hmm. because you, we have a different perspective and we'll give it, but mm -hmm. as a retailer, is Nike winning the hype wars again? Because your, your, your perspective is dollars. That's the one that yeah. matters. I'm, I mean, in all fairness, you're, you're watching two heavyweights go at it. I don't, I don't think anybody's really crowned a winner at this point. Um, they, they're showing you everything they have yeah. going into January 1st. So, I mean, the argument could go on both sides. Which I know like, that's what's a your diplomatic outlook, What's your answer? outlook for, like, 2018, though? Because you've already seen, like, basically everything you're selling for, you know, the upcoming year. Um, what, who do you it's, think? It's tough, though, because we don't have the insight to the quick strikes and the things that matter on our channel. It's it's more or less the inland stuff. 
I, I do think that um, Nike has an insane back catalog, so you know that there's always that. But in terms of like the heat and the things that would matter to us, I, it, it's going to be a fun ride to kind of sit back as a consumer and be able to pick and choose. I know that's super diplomatic, but I really don't have an answer. So we should they're just both ride. really banging. They're, right. they're so both just going at it right fight. now. I mean, you saw already at Complex Con, there was like a lot of heat on both sides. There's riots and fights on both sides. You know, and I'm over here just trying to get my little. <laughs> Who do you think they the biggest at Complex Con? Well, I think I think the problem is you can't look at Nike and not include Jordan in that equation. So automatically you have like two against one. And, mm. and that, then you and come down for New Balance oh, bro, single I, handedly. I went up against everybody. Came out unscathed. Look, I'm still here. <laughs> All right, we, this is everybody else's blood. This isn't mine. <laughs> we, but, we have uh, Visions of Pharaoh on Twitter asking, how often do you have to rationalize to your your sneaker buying habits to non sneaker heads? You guys. How do you explain it? Because I'm I'm in my twenties. What, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, I think at this point everybody that I know in my immediate circle, they they know what it's hitting for. They expect for. it, hundred percent. Yeah, I you think, know what I mean. And yeah. I, I think, and it's funny while I'm tattooing people now because of the the culture has has risen so much in so many you know in a short amount of time that everybody is a collector in some mm -hmm. capacity, and I think. You know, there's been so many times I've been tattooing somebody and they go, oh man, you got the whatever. Yeah, I, I like sneaks, man. I got like 12, 13 pairs. I've mm -hmm. been collecting for a while. I'm like, yeah, it's great. I, I probably got that many in the mail last week, you know? And, <laughs> but I don't say that. You, came on, this, you came on the show to destroy it and just flex all over it. <laughs> no, no, man. I, I, I love this. I'm going to get a residency. I think he's flexed the hardest. By out far. Out of, yeah, yeah, but I want to stay. Uh, I want to get a residency. I like no, it. listen, I, you know, I, love, I love talking about, st listen, it's easy, as you guys know, it's easy to talk about things that you know about, right? Sure. And that you're familiar with. Like, you guys can talk about shoes and, and whatever you're familiar with, whether it's tattoos or collecting coins or Tinder or whatever it is that you're a, a fan of. Tinder. Oh, no, are you Tinder, Tinder king of Boston? Nah, I'm not. Fellas, I want to thank you for joining us today. <laughs> thank you. It Appreciate was it. an unbelievable conversation. I think you guys should come back. <laughs> Anytime, come man. Back. We could come back and tattoo you. somebody. That would be dope. on this table. Listen, let's do a ta let's do a giveaway. Let's, <laughs> let's do, do a, let's do a giveaway. Somebody that wants to get a sneaker tattoo, I'm down. Fifty, right, gonna it. be we'll fifty-two tweets are up though. <laughs> Fifty's not enough. No, no, that's dope. We need to discuss that yeah. first. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you. BJ, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate it. Wealthy, no show them your Jordans again before we get out of here. Put those up on the table, <laughs> yeah. man. Dub zero. Wait, how are you gonna lace <laughs> yeah, those? Let's go get coffee yeah. after. <laughs> We gotta put this on the full size on this. Instagram. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Gotta. Where's my phone? Incredible moment in sneaker culture. <laughs> I'm Rich Mays Lopez. I'm Brendan Dunn, news editor, soul collector. <laughs> I'm Matt Wealthy, editor of Complex <laughs> Sneakers. And Sponge I have Bob Sponge enthusiast. Bob. This is SpongeBob, new co-host. Peace. Listen, this is important. I need you to subscribe. They're going to make me keep wearing these fake Skechers Yeezys until we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please, subscribe to Soul Collector on YouTube. Now. <laughs>